Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. Today I am doing a quick makeup video. Well, I guess I'm lying. It's not that quick. Um, not as quick as the one from before, but it is definitely a nice little spring look, summer look. Definitely black girl friendly. And yeah, let's get into it. So, I'm starting off priming my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I know y'all have been seeing me using the Power Grip Primer, but I started using this a while back and I forgot why I stopped using it, so I pulled this back out to use this. And I like it. It definitely smooths your face out, gives you a nice base for your application. Um, so yeah. It worked out really, really well, especially for the foundation that I was using. It just gives me a nice, clean canvas to work on. Another thing is you gotta make sure you're a bedroom on in. So that's what I made sure I was on. Do y'all see my pinky now? How I just broke off and I just did my nails not too long ago. Now I'm going in with my eyes before I do my face just so I can make sure I don't have any fall any um fall off on my face while I do my eyes or if I was to do my eyes after I apply foundation and conceal and all that good stuff. So I'm just taking this shade this a blending brush and I'm taking the shade what shade is this? Commercial break from the Morphe Coca-Cola 1971 The Unity Collection And I was thinking that the shade would be a lot lighter than it was It was definitely a lot deeper than I thought it was going to come out But it was okay, I was able to work with it So I just put this in my crease And I just blended it out as much as I possibly could I definitely could have blended it out more but it worked so i let it be especially at the edges like, i think i thought i did a little bit more blending but i ain't <laughs> so i just did that much as, as much as i possibly could and over here i felt like i put way too much color so my eye was definitely defined, don't get me wrong. The color was defined as all get out. Like the shape was defined. It's just it wasn't it wasn't a smooth transition. Now I'm taking the shade Total Unity and this shade was so patchy. I was so mad at myself for not putting a base down before applying this color, but I didn't think I would have an issue using this shade shade just because I've never had an issue using this palette before because I use this palette all the time I absolutely love it it's one of my favorite palettes in my whole entire collection so I didn't think I would have an issue but it was so patchy I had to apply layers on top of 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 layers, on top of layers to achieve the look that I wanted to get and even then it still came out a little bit <laughs> A little patchy so that was kind of annoying but the overall look was still there and it wasn't a look that I wore out I was definitely staying at home so I was like you know what I'm gonna just make it work make it work with what I have and call it a day see I don't know if you guys can tell how patchy it's looking even while I'm applying the shadow no, you can't tell. Here I'm going into my Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I am in the shade 16 Neutral. Don't y'all like now that I can tell y'all the names and all the information of what I'm actually using? This is so new to me. <laughs> but I have it in front of my face so I can tell y'all. <laughs> and I'm going in with my Morphe E63 blush. Brush. This. Yeah, E63. Which is literally the only thing that I use to apply my foundation. Like, literally. And while I'm applying this, you guys are going to be like, Why are you using the shade? The shade is not the right shade. Don't use the shade. 
but chill we always make it work so just relax don't get your britches in the what is it don't get your britches in the tangle or whatever they say we will make this work I love this foundation. I think it's very light. I think it definitely is full coverage. I think I used two pumps and it is the right amount of coverage. Like you guys can see, everything is getting covered up. Like there's nothing being missed. It's just spot on, people. Spot on. I just gotta make sure I don't dang in my edges. Cause I'm seeing a lot of demarcation. Please go ahead and get your edges. Okay. So for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the shade 147.5. This is a really, really nice shade. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did, but it is a really, really nice shade. It definitely brought everything together the way I wanted it to. Um, as far as toning down the, con the foundation and bringing it back to skin color so everything looks nice and seamless if that makes sense y'all want to see what I'm talking about once I blend everything in And I'm gonna go a little obsessive with the concealer. I'm applying to all the regular places, so under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, my chin, my upper lip. But I'm also going to reverse contour with this also, just because I felt like I needed the extra little bit of color to my skin. And that's really just because of the foundation and it all works out at the end. Just keep on watching. I hate the idea of having this puff though. I feel like it's not that sanitary. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you always want to start your face, your foundation, you know, your makeup routine on a clean face, but, mm, it just kind of skews me out just a little bit. Here I'm connecting, I was like, you know what, why the hell not? And then I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just pounding that joint out. Are you on closer?
So it blends out really nicely to the concealer. Like, I wasn't fighting with it or anything like that. Like, it really did blend out really, really nice. I don't know if it's the fact that I was using a damp sponge or what the case was, but it blended out really, really nice. Okay, so you guys see how my face has like come back to life now, and it's matching my neck. Trust the process. Here I am using the Laura, Tr Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Medium Deep to set all of the concealed areas, or all of the highlights there's concealed areas. There y'all go right there, y'all can see how the eyeshadow is creasing. Ooh, I'm so upset by that. If I know it's gonna crease like that, I definitely would have applied a, a base or something. I'm so upset. <laughs> so upset that I creeped the way it creeped. I have watching any different shows. I know the shows right now. I'm watching the shy, and I tell y'all, this drama is popping. I'm only on season two, but I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin anything, but some shit go down, and some other stuff go down, and then it's like. Oh my god, I can't believe that went down. You know what I mean? That's how the show goes. And it's like, yo, y'all bugging. I also lost today my powder setting and using my setting powder with a sponge. It really just gets it in there and you don't have anything loose left over like it's just pressing it into your skin if that makes sense like it's really just pressing it in there you're not left over with anything with any excess powder you're just left over with the right amount of powder and it's perfect and you don't gotta worry about it because it's perfect clean that came out. Alright, so here I am taking the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the shade 375 Deep Amber and I'm using this to bronze my face up to give it some warmth. At first I went in with this e.l.f. Angle Brush, um, I don't even remember the actual name of it. And it was doing something for me at first, but then I was like, you know what? And you can see it when my face goes back, you know I forget this. There right there. <laughs> I was like, you know, forget this. And then I pulled out this one. You catch a brush, brush, blush, brush, brush, powder brush. What am I talking about? And this is usually my go-to. 
I have an angled one from Coastal Sense that I use that I enjoy using. But I was like, let me pull this one out so I can get this job done. Because that one was wasting time. I think that was my issue. Like, I just need some color to my face. Like, yo, I'm doing the wash right now. Same as I powder, but in the shade, uh, what's the shade? 365 Copper, and I'm just setting the whole entire face, even areas that I apply different products to, just to make sure everything is nice and seamless and that there are no sharp lines of demarcation. Because um, we don't like those. No, we don't. We don't like them at all. So I just use this and I apply the powder to the brush and then I press it into my skin. I'm not wiping everything, I'm not swiping, I'm not wiping anything, I'm not swiping anything because I don't want to mess anything up or pull anything or mess anything up that has already been set. I just want to press everything into the skin so it looks nice and see if it's, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to go do my brows, put some mascara on, and I am back with blush. This is the Morphe Powder, Morphe Blush Palette in the shade 81 Palette 8W Warm Master. And I am mixing two of the colors, MUA and Provocative, to get this nice orangey looking color. And now look at both eyes are creasing. It's a hot mess. And this is the Elf Complexion brush, I believe. But look at that shade. How beautiful is that shade? Oh my god. And of course I'll do the C so I can like lift the face. So I'm just having it on my apples. I apply it to the cheeks. Apples on the cheeks. And then I apply it going back and then I apply it into the C. So the face is completely lifted. And I think I applied more on this side than I don't know this side, but I don't care. Because like I said, I wasn't going nowhere. I did it for picture sakes, and then that was that. Yeah, see, I went back into more on this side. And of course, I do the nose. Here I'm going in with the Made Up Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade 3, I mean, set 3, 608 Limitless Brown, and I am lining my lips. I love this shade. I think it just works with every single bit of color that I could possibly think of. It just is just perfect. It really is. Um, yeah, like it's one of those browns that just it just it just works. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just a perfect shade.
Then here I'm going in with the Revlon 001 What If, I mean If I Want To, Matte Lipstick. And for a matte lipstick, they are so creamy and non-drying. They feel amazing and that is all I have to say. They are just really good matte lipsticks. And I think they're the newer formulas that they may have. I could be wrong because I'm usually late to the game. But yeah. And then last but not least, I'm going in with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in 007 Amber. Ugh, look at the little crust on my lip that I should have exfoliated with when I did this lipstick. Before I did this, lip, this whole look up. This whole look. The gloss are kind of eyes, I think. God. But before I was looking real crusty, real dusty. And that was embarrassing. Look at me trying to get it together. And that is that, y'all. The look is over. Did I use a setting spray? Nope. Should I have used a setting spray? Mm -hmm. But like I said, I wasn't going anywhere. I had no plans on going anywhere. I just wanted to do my makeup. And uh, sit in the house for a little bit before I washed it all off. So, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Now, let's talk about these comments, questions, and concerns that I keep talking about in the bottom. That y'all don't believe in. They'll be making me feel some type of way about y'all. What's up with that? Do we have beef or do we not? Because I be feeling some type of way and y'all don't even care. So, how do we fix that? Because I think it's something that needs to be rectified. Unless y'all just don't care. If so, let me know. But comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.